Hey, how's it going, Jeff? Doing well, pleasure to meet you, Coy. Pleasure to meet you. How are you, Coy? Doing well, man. This is like insane. This is this is like Star Wars. It's like, absolutely our generation insane. gets this. It really is true. And I was thinking about that on the way over here. I have a feeling that we're kind of in in for uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, um, you know what I mean. We're I think that's, leave sadder than we're, that's a hundred percent. We're gonna leave sad and frustrated that we can't watch the next one. Right, all away. of Phase Three, they already lost their hands, yeah, but now we're going exactly to this. Right. <laughs> so I was wondering, when you found out the scope of what this season's Agents of Shield was gonna be, did you start to tie into like, oh, the cinematic universe? I see what they're doing. Like the successes are leading to other things. How did that feel to see the scope of where it was going? It was really cool. I mean, you know, obviously Guardians was the movie that kind of expanded it to space. Yeah, and uh, to see to have Shield get to go to space also and to yeah. Play with and to start to play with timelines and dimensions and all these different things that Doctor Strange and and Black Panther and you know uh, uh, Black Panther with Wakanda but, right, but Guardians with yeah, yeah. the world building how how much it's expanding is really really cool and I think that they're doing on Shield an amazing job of incorporating all of it and yet keeping it you know true to what is great about the show. So the the general question for Marvel is always like who's your favorite hero. Who would your favorite hero to be like a roommate with be? Oh, I love what a good question. Yeah, it's a little twist. On great the question. Yeah, great question. <laughs> I mean, I would say, I would say Star Lord because I know that we would be, we would be, you know, cracking jokes a lot. Right, right. You know, we'd be having a good time. Yeah. Vision would be great because then you, you could probably Someone like clean it. everything up and. <laughs> 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 exactly right. That's the problem with Vision. Yeah, so Vision's probably off the list. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'd probably stick with Star Lord. Star Lord. All right. Star Lord is a rule. All right. Yeah. And final question yes. for you: With the Infinity War being kind of a conclusion, like we we're saying, our Empire Strikes Back. Is there somewhere you want Agents of Shield to go that it can't until after this Fallout? That is a really interesting question. I, I am very curious what is going to happen with S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, after the finale because there's so much stuff that goes on yeah. that it really opens a lot of doors for going in many different directions that I don't know where it would go. Yeah. But I will say the finale is so epic and so good that I am very excited for other people to speculate on where it would go after that because it's really cool. Fantastic. I'm really excited. Dude, I appreciate it. Thank you and so Star much, Lord, man. I think, is a solid answer. I, I think as, as the rules go. Thank you. So this was an amazing premiere, arguably the biggest movie of my life and everyone in in the movie, around the movie, that created the movie is just as excited as we are. This is a movie by fans, for fans, and you feel it in the air. Everyone was amazing. I have had so much fun at this premiere and it feels important. This night is the last time no one will have seen Infinity War. Everything's about to change. Thanks, guys.